Next up is a fly called the Black Ghost. When I was writing my book on uh, sea trout fishing, I invited some of the anglers and fly tires uh, from around the world that are sea trout addicts such as myself to, to contribute some of their some of their patterns to provide inspiration to, to, to readers and one uh, person I was really keen about including was John Graham for for obvious reasons um, his ingenuity and his patterns they're just very different to, 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 to most commonly used uh, patterns yeah if you look at uh, the Jambo for example which uh, which John invented yeah it's it, it's an absolute lethal pattern but this one as well um, the Black Ghost one of his oldest patterns uh, actually uh, invented by his brother Terry Graham um, now according to John I never met T uh, Terry unfortunately but according to to, to John uh, Terry was a, a phenomenal angler and even better well, John's a very modest person uh, he, he says that uh, Terry was actually a better angler than than him, but I find that hard to believe given how how good an angler John is himself. But uh, I'll I'll take his word on that. Um, so yeah, this is a, a pattern passed on to me uh, by John, uh, and again from his brother Terry originally. So there's the one that John has given me, and the one I used uh, for the book. You'll see that is just such a beautiful dressing. I'll be honest. I'm not going to be able to do it justice to that degree, um, but I hope my interpretation uh, will be of interest, and uh, I hope I don't do uh, discredit to, to to John and Terry. So in the vice, uh, you'll see John's pattern. He actually likes dressing them on an up by uh, light uh, low water salmon hook. I've just got a, a, a normal streamer hook in a size six in the vice here, uh, Vivas thread 10-0 black so just start off it's a dubbed body so you don't have to be worried too much about um, uneven, unevenness in the body as per if you're using um, uh, a tinsel body for example the tail uh, you saw on the original as well he's done a, a little silver tag I'm gonna do a simplified version from that perspective uh, and this is going to be without that without that but so first tail uh, first part of the tail is golden pheasant topping let's measure that in make sure that it's riding center and make sure you're utilizing the natural curvature of that feather when you're happy to take some securing turns and just to help it kick up a bit don't be shy about taking one turn in underneath I'll just stop it from falling down like so and then the second tail is from the golden pheasant again uh, and it's the the toppings rather than uh, sorry the tippets rather than the toppings and it actually runs around two-thirds of the way down the um, the topping so when you measure that in switch fingers pinch and loop and take it down like so Take the thread down the body, just go over those, uh, the waist section. The rib is going to be uh, a medium silver tinsel. Just got some medium silver tinsel here. Just catch that in. When you take this down, you can tidy up the body somewhat as well. Like so. The body is going to be um, black seal spur, and as per John's instructions, you should really loosely dub it because you want to, uh, and loosely and generously dub it because you want to be able to pick a lot of it out uh, at the end to create a you know a slightly bulkier profile, but get some movement and action uh, and life into that seal spur as well. Where if you t uh, dub it down too tightly, you will lose that. So when you're dubbing it, don't dub it too tightly don't create a tight dubbing rope and we will be picking it out afterwards as well so after passing that rib up we will be coming over it with the velcro brush to, to pick more out like so it's enough to start with so just take that up the body 
just make sure you've got a an even coverage need some more you'll see at the end it's just a, a deadly looking sea trap pattern it's got everything in there you know your black your silvers uh, there's a bit of jungle cock a bit of peacock uh, just everything that's you'd be looking for a little bit of a pinch there just to even out that last section and then we're done again it's supposed to be pretty bulky at this stage so brush it all back you can see we've left that head section clear there's actually a four part wing so uh, don't go into that section until you really have to because otherwise you're just going to add unnecessary bulk spring this rib up loose turns you could use slightly thinner uh, tinsel if you wanted to as well just seeing that rib on this secure that in take a couple of turns over double it back tie over just to give you a really secure finish on that tinsel snip off the excess so now what we're going to do is pull out with a dubbing brush we're going to pull out a lot of this black seal fur just to bring life to it keep working it out just a velcro brush whatever you've got to hand to do this with keep working it out like so when you're happy with the body next part is to do a hackle um, John recommends a black hen saddle uh, you may get away with a black hen neck uh, or if you haven't got them uh, you can also use schlappen. So I've got some nice natural uh, black hen saddle here. It's just a single feather. Just take that around. Watch you don't know, trap the fibres as you go. Just take your time. Just working it one turn in front of the other. Two or three turns will be ample. It depends on the quality of the feather but usually two or three turns will be ample again you still have a four part wing to go after this so don't go too heavy happy with that bring in the thread take it through just take a couple of locking turns before brushing the feather back and taking a couple of turns around that stem so it's not going to go anywhere when you're happy bring in the scissors just to cut the excess of that hackle. Bring in the scissors, clip as close as you can. So there's the hackle in place. So it's a four part wing, as I was saying. Uh, the first part, John would have been using black squirrel. Uh, as, many as, you, as many of you know, I like uh, American possum. Uh, easy to work with. Uh, slightly finer than the squirrel but not too fine that it's uh, just folds measure it up uh, so it more or less ends where the tail ends when you're happy switch fingers come in with a pinch and loop and secure next part is uh, some red holographic tinsel so I've got some it's red holographic tinsel it doesn't need much this is actually really fine stuff so I'm going to use um, two strands doubled so four in total uh, but if you've got more medium sized tinsel then utilize um, just one strand double so two strands in total for the wing so I've got two strands here of this really fine stuff so all I'm going to do is take it behind the thread take it up to the center double them up see that they're running 
exactly down the center of that wing when you're happy tie over like so so there's four strands there but it's really fine stuff and just get them all ending in different intervals but none protruding further back than the main wing itself so next part is Arctic Runner in Scarlet uh, if you haven't got Arctic Runner uh, if you got dyed red squirrel for example that will work fine and build that wing up slightly so this red is quite strong so don't go crazy with the amount of material it's a small bunch remember we've got a, another wing to go on top of this again and you're happy pinch and loop like so what we're going to do now is snip off the excess down here just tidy that head up a little bit take your time just to it'll all come together in the end so we've got two parts left now we've got um, some peacock sword over and then some jungle cock so when you got to there so when you peacock sword you got um, two choices you can either do it as I do which is a lazy option I just strip it from the stem of a single feather um, or you can marry them up and um, get uh, feathers from both sides of the sword just to even up the um, even up the sword but I'm just going to take a, a little pinch here you can see what I'm going to do is just take as much as I want and then just pull it from the stem like so and utilize the natural curvature of that peacock okay you want it draping over and I want this being if you can just slightly longer than that black and red wing so it kind of just drapes or cloaks over that main wing like so it's looking good a couple of locking turns threads splitting a little bit just going to spin it up there you go cut off the but sections of that peacock close as you can like so final touch is jungle cock again optional extra if you don't add it if you haven't got it don't worry choose the suitable size eyes before drawing it from the from the cape just choose some suitable sized eyes and then pluck them free so strip off the base feather bring it up measure it up when you're happy I'm just going to take a couple of turns back just to gain a couple of turns like so get the other one ready bring it up measure it up to where you're happy a couple of turns make sure you're happy with the positioning that looks good when you're happy a couple of locking turns then double the stems back and tie over the stems just to really secure them in and that's the end of the flight so we just have to I'll slip down a bit so that's all we have to do now is tidy up the head and then whip finish. So that's Terry Graham's Black Ghost, again kindly shown to me by John Graham. So thanks as always John and I uh, hope you've done you justice in my tying. Uh, again not as neat as as what John does but neat enough to catch a fish I hope so tie a few up take them on the river and uh, I hope they bring you luck tight lines